is up everybody, my name is Asander, or Sonic Pro Gaming, whatever the heck you want to call me, and continuing my Let's Play on Sonic Unleashed for the Xbox One. And in the last episode, basically what happened guys, we made our way to Spagonia Night, and we fought a whole crap of monsters, and we basically got a D-rank, but we're obviously going to forget what that happened again. And also, as we made our way back to Spagonia, we basically witnessed Amy getting attacked by possessed people that were possessed by Dark Gaia. And we basically saved her, and now uh, Professor Pickle filled her in on everything that's happening, and she knows now that we are secretly the Werehog at night. And today, we're going to make our way to Chinan at night and we're gonna be fighting another boss today so if you guys are enjoying uh, today's episode of Sonic Unleashed tell me down in the comment section below I'd like to read all of your comments in the description and obviously I couldn't think of uh, another question of the day so I'm going to think of one later on and basically put it in the description once I put a question of the day in the description you guys will be able to answer the question and I'll pin the first comment I see and you guys will get a shout out in the next video. If you guys come up with really good answers for my questions, pin your comment and I'll and I'll give you a shout out in the next Sonic Unleashed playthrough video that I make. But anyways guys, let's get the heck out of here. And we're going to make our way to Chinan. And if you don't know what Chinan basically is, it's basically China. Ting tong ching tong. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of racist. But yeah, uh yeah, it's basically Ch it's basically China in um Sonic Unleashed. So we're just going to make our way over there, and as you can see, it shows the little arrow telling us where to go, and we're going to make our way to Chinan. Alright, here we go. Oh god, I have a cough. <coughs> Damn. Oh my god. Alright, anyways. As you can see, we are here, and I love the music for this one. Like, just listen to the music real quick. absolutely beautiful if you guys don't know I might consider using this music in one of my videos because it's just so peaceful you know like I'd love to use this in one of my videos so basically guys if you're playing Sonic Unleashed as you're watching with the video when you spawn in here you will basically won't be able to access the stage yet you basically would have to get permission from this person right here which is his name I think it's Lin yeah, there's gonna be a guy that's gonna be blocking you off from the stage and he's gonna be saying, Oh, it's too dangerous to, to go there. You need to get permission from Lin. So you talk to Lin, Lin will give you permission, and basically that guy will move out the way and you'll be able to make your way to the stage. So basically I already did that. So I'm gonna basically just hop through and we're just gonna get straight into the episode because as you already know, guys, this episode's gonna be insanely long because we're gonna fight... We're gonna fight, we're gonna go to Chunan Knight, and we're gonna be fighting a boss in the same episode. So you already know, today's episode's gonna be insanely long. And that's basically what you guys wanted, obviously. You guys wanted longer content. So yeah, oh. It's over here. I'm guessing there's a metal over there. Woo! Ooh, that's cool. And as you can see right here, I believe this is where the boss is. So, we're gonna basically get- oh, there's a tank right here, obviously. Let's grab that. And I think we can launch ourselves over here. Truly, I love Chunan. One of my favorite stages. It's not- basically, this stage isn't as hard as Rooftop Run. Rooftop Run was basically a huge pain, but I am kind of feel like I'm missing a medal around here. Like, you guys are just screaming at me and be like, oh, there's a medal right there, Lissandra! Pick it up, you dumbass! I'm gonna stop. But yeah, I'm gonna stop around and look for some medals really quickly before we enter the stage because I just don't want to be screamed at anymore because you guys are screaming at me for the last episode because I missed the sun medal back in Spagonia and you guys got so mad with me guys. I apologize, okay? Okay, so there's there's got to be a medal around here somewhere. Oh wow, there is a medal. There's a moon medal right there. Oh my god, I love this music. Oh my god. What happens if I just jump off? I'm jumping off, bro. Ah! Okay. Damn, how does Sonic not take fall damage? Like, your your ankle should have shattered. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let's gonna let's just make our way to the stage. I feel like there's a metal around here, and I am just feel like I'm missing it. I just... I ha I'm paranoid, guys, okay? Like, my friend Nathaniel was screaming at me 
And he was like, oh, I'm gonna hurt you if you don't pick up the medals. He's not really gonna hurt me, but he's just, you know, it's just a joke. But literally, I'm so paranoid right now. Like, I, I feel like I'm missing a medal around here, but whatever. Anyways, let's just make our way- wait a second. I'm paranoid as hell, guys. I'm sorry. Anyways, let's make our way to Dragon Road Act 1. So yeah, basically, like I said, guys, if you're enjoying the episode, just tell me down in the comment section below, because obviously, I love the positivity that you guys have when watching these this series. But anyways, ha! And also, if you don't know, there's a medal right behind me. <laughs> Literally, as soon as you spawn in, there's a medal right behind you. Uh, I'm going to try my best to collect all the medals here. So, let's just go over here and... You already know, we start off the episode with some combat, you already know. I'm not gonna let these little guys hurt- Never mind. I was going to say- Stop! Stop it, let me speak! Stop it, let me speak! Okay, yeah, the red guys are actually pretty fast. Like- Oh my god, they're- Grab you! Um... Why can I hit you? Oh my god, I couldn't hit him. Die, bastards. Jeez, it was a pain to kill those little guys. Hey, is there medals around here? No. Okay, I'm like trying to like collect all the medals in this one. Oh my god. Okay, let's collect rings to bring our life up. The little guys are sometimes a pain in the booty to... Ring around, rosies. I'm literally having the fun of my lifetime right now. All I'm gonna do is just spin around with these guys, bro. Like, you already know. Dang, it actually does pretty much a lot of damage. Okay, let's get this flower guy. Alright, we didn't get hit much here. Try my best not to get as hit as possible because if you guys know, like I said, if we're trying to get an S rank. Alright, so let's break these rocks down and... Metal? Oh yeah, there's a metal right here. I almost left, and you guys would have been screaming at me like, You missed a metal! <laughs> okay, well anyways. Just making sure I didn't miss a metal. Next minute I miss one. Break that crap down. Let's go, Sonic. You already know. Alright, there should be a metal here. Oh yeah. Yo, the sun metals in this stage are so sneaky, like, oh my god. You don't even know. First thing we're gonna do is just do ring around rosies. You don't even know. I know the deal. I notice as I'm doing this, it does crap ton of damage against these enemies. So I'm pretty sure this is actually kind of useful, to be honest. Okay. Big enemy? You already know the deal. Look at that. That worked. Okay. Guys, I should honestly just do ring around rosies all the time now. No, no, no. I didn't mean to cl- No, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I was thinking there, there couldn't be a metal there. And there was. I swear, the sun medals in this stage are so sneaky. I swear, imagine I collect all the sun medals. Okay. I can't move. Ring around the rosies. I not. I legit did not just try to grab that enemy right there. Big enemy, you already know. Okay, let's do this, guys. Bro, all I'm gonna do is this, bro, because it's literally working. Take out of here. Also, I'm sorry that I'm being so quiet here, guys. It's just I'm trying to concentrate. Oh my god, so how many more enemies are gonna be spawning here? Okay, that has to be the last guy. Truly has to be the last guy. 
Okay, also this little... What the hell? Oh, we got the buzzers? From Sonic 2? <laughs> I really did not just make that joke. Also, this red ability. Also, is kind of like Unleash. It does enhance your damage. Not too much. There are different type of power-ups in the game that you can use that, that enhances your strength for the Werehog. So, hopefully, you guys look forward to getting these abilities in the game, because they will help you. And obviously, they don't, they don't last forever. Take these buzzers out. Please tell me that was the last enemy. Finally! Jesus, so many enemies were spawning in there. It was ridiculous. Now, I have... I, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> like, I was thinking, like, is there a metal there? There's a disc over here on the other side. Let's, oh god, be careful not to fall in the water, because you know Sonic cannot swim. Now, there has to be a metal here. Oh, there's no metal. But there is rings, and that's pretty good to get my life up. Make sure there's no sneaky metal. I don't want to, like, honestly, the metals in this stage are very sneaky. So you guys can't scream at me if I if I miss the metal, because it's they're very sneaky. Like, basically, technically anybody can, like, miss the metals. Oh god, these, these, these enemies actually do crap ton of damage, so it's important you, got, you gotta take these enemies out first. I don't even care about you guys, like, what I care about is taking this enemy out, because this one's very dangerous. Let's just spin it around a bit. And take English, you literally threw him off, bro, into the abyss of the ocean. I hope you enjoy seawater. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take this guy and then throw him. I should have blocked there, honestly. <laughs> Let's take you out. Oh, oh my god, I was getting very close to the ocean. That would have been instant karma for me. Gotta be careful not to fall into the water. Sonic, you're getting very close to the water, bro. Oh my god. So unresponsive, bro. This is exactly why I got a D rank in the last episode. It's important that we do not die here. That buzzer missed so badly. What the f- Okay, so when you grab it, when you try to grab him, he stings you. You miss completely, bro. Like- like, just stop. Bro! Get the hell out of here! Bro, when you try to hit him, he'll fly- Oh my god. Okay, this enemy is so- Bro! Stop flying up! Look at this! When you try to attack him, he just flies up! Oh my god! It's really a pain to get this dude! Stop moving! We're gonna be here for quite a while. I... I really messed up the quick time event. Oh my god, I can't even see. I might fall into the water if I'm not careful enough. Okay. I'm not gonna mess up this time. Oh my god, it's legit taking me this long to kill this guy! Finally! Jesus, the only way to kill him was with a quick time event! Making this episode way longer than it already is! I swear, this episode may be an hour long, probably, because of, the guy, of that freaking buzzer. Okay, anyways, let's just make sure we're not missing any medals, because you know how sneaky they are in this, in this game, or in this level. Okay, I, it looks like I'm not missing any. Okay, let's just do this. Got that extra life. Oh my god! Very close to the water. <gasps> what?! What?! That was a glitch! You guys saw me jump there, right? I don't know how I fell. Well, I'm not getting an S rank, that's for sure. 
Oh my god, it's like this game never wants me to get an S rank, bro. Like, I, I want at least one S rank. At least one. I'm not good with the Werehog stages, okay? Like, Jesus, bro. That reminds me, we must have gotten so much XP that we need to get that life counter back up. We have 5 XP. Okay, but all right, you know what? Let's increase the strength so we can actually do twice as damage against any enemies. Alrighty, that should have helped. Uh. <sighs> okay, I'm already tired. Like I'm pissed off. Like, come on, man. I don't know how I died. Very good with the quick time events. Man, I'm a pro. Oh yeah, you gotta take out the sorcerer guy. That sorcerer guy is very bad. Because he basically, if he... He can basically do two, two of the following. He can either... Power up the enemy, making them twice as strong. Or, he can heal them, giving them more HP. Which is a pain in the booty! I almost died there, but yeah. Yeah, so it's important that you take out the sorcerer guys. The sorcerer guys are like very bad. They're very, very bad. I'm trying to take out the sorcerer guy. Chop chip. Yeah, you saw that that little circle here. He was uh, appearing. If enemy, if any enemy would have got close to that, they basically would have gotten more HP, which would have been really bad. So thank God it took him out. That would have been very, very bad. Alright, I, I, I don't know why, but I, I got the feeling that I'm going to die. No. I, oh my god, you gotta be shitting me. You have to be, you got to be shitting me. That I have to deal with this piece of buzz shit again. Oh my god, why do I have to deal with him? Can I, I wanna, no, I wanted to grab those enemies, no. No, I messed up! I'm gonna die. Screw my unleash, I gotta use it. I'm sorry, because this dude is a pain in the ass. I'm sorry. Sorry I'm swearing, but like... These guys are such a pain, bro. What the fuck? Oh wow, fantastic. I like how I use my unleash as soon as we're getting to the boss, to the to ending the stage. Fantastic. Beautiful, amazing. But luckily I know a strategy, a strat that can help. Making sure if there's any sun in the nose over here. I know a strat that will kill this- WHAT?! <coughs> <coughs> how did- I was nowhere near the water! I was nowhere near the water, bro. Alright, so if we take this guy... can throw him over there, and look at that! Look at that! We just lowered the boss so much... He's still, he's still, he's still giving them, um, shit, I'm just gonna, ow. I mean, at least he died. <laughs> I shocked myself, but it was okay. Look at that, we didn't even have to deal with that shit. That's how you take out the boss instantly. And basically, this is the final door, and we are out of here. But, this is something very bad. On both of these sides, there is a sun and moon metal. And you're probably like, how? Not- Oh, actually, no. Not on that side. It's actually on that side. You have to actually be very lucky to make that jump. So, I'm very terrified, but I don't know if it's worth for the metal, because I can literally get the hell out of here. Screw it. No. No! I don't know if it's- I don't know if, it, if I should do it. Oh my god, 
thought I made it! Okay. Where is this medal? Right here. We have seven out of ten. Oh, there's a moon medal here, too. Okay. Now, the bad thing is getting back. <laughs> okay, I have a big start over here. Okay. Let's see if I can make it. Oh my god, I did it! Let's go. Touch that. I got a bad rank for sure. Where's my rank? Oh, an A rank! I'll take that! Okay. At least we didn't get a D rank. You see, to none, at least isn't as hard as Rooftop Run. I will take that A rank. I will take that very much. Anyways, we did it, guys. We basically cleared Tunon Knight. And now, after this, we can basically make our way to the boss. So let me just upgrade my my combat. And actually, let me upgrade a bit for Sonic, because I haven't been upgrading him that much. Let's upgrade a little bit of his speed. And there we go. Alright, guys, let's get out of here. So if we get a cutscene, hopefully we do, because I actually love the cutscenes. I can mute my mic and you guys can enjoy. So, let's see. Oh, we are. Is that a flippin' dragon? <sighs> Dark Guy of Phoenix. Alright guys, like I said, this is the boss. Alright, so basically what you guys gotta do here is basically we got these little water watering cans and we gotta oh god be careful for these guys these guys do a ton of damage so basically we gotta take these watering cans and we have to throw it at him and that'll basically um put him out and then basically we'll be able to attack him oh wait not yet we gotta wait till you land first so he'll be able to land right there Boom! Gotta grab your beak, kick him in the nuts, no stop. Nice howl, Sonic. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's basically in general all you gotta do. Basically, once he's on fire, you gotta use the water to put him out, and then that's when you're, that gives you your chance to attack him. So that's all you gotta do. You gotta just, deal. there are just a lot of things in general that you have to be careful with. Like, he will dive into you, which will knock you a, a right off the stage, which is instant death. And I'm on fire. Alright, alright, let me just put the water on him. Alright, in this phase, he basically will have so much fire on him that you just need to throw as much water on him. So, we just gotta throw it right there. And there we go, he's basically out. I can't attack him here. You have to wait till he lands on one of the pedestals that are right here that has the water on it. And that's where you'll be able to attack. So I think he's gonna land right here. So now right here, I can attack him. Alright. Oop! Almost messed up there. Grab him there in the beak. Kick him. And right in the junk! And then smack him with that body slam, and you know, nice howl again, Sonic. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, dude, just shut up, me, bro. <laughs> oh, there's a sun medal right there. Okay, I almost would have missed it, but there we go. We got all of the medals in this boss. Alrighty, now all we gotta do is just end him. Alrighty, where is he so I can throw this water at him? Well, you need to. Oh, shoot. He almost would have dived into me, which would have been instant death, which I hate. He's gonna land in the middle, so take that. Yeah, he has so much water on him that you have to put him out with more and more water. Oh, you broke my- Freaking suck, man. Oh my god. Oh, that's gay. The game just cheated, bro. It literally 
It literally didn't even, the water didn't even hit him. Like, that's so gay. There we go. He's basically out. Now we can end him. Also, you don't get unleashed here, so don't even try it, guys. Every boss, you don't get unleashed. Alrighty, he's gonna land right here. And now, let's end this man out of his misery. Take that. Take this. Grab you in the beak so you can shut the fuck up. Punch him in the junk. You're not gonna have babies anytime soon. Grab him on the neck and... He just did the true how. Strike three, monster. That's enough out of you. Yeah, Sonic. How did I not get an S rank? That was perfect. It should have gave me an S rank there. I got all the medals. I took not that much damage. Like they should have just gave me an S rank there. But if I would have taken no damage, true S rank. But yeah, we basically did it, guys. And that was um it. We basically beat the boss, and I think we're gonna get one more cutscene out of this. So. Let's try to level up before we end this off. Let's do... Let's do Unleash, just because we want the Unleash to um last way longer. There we go. Alright guys, so here we go. Let's just quit this and let's get out of here. And I'm going to enjoy this cutscene. You alright? Yes, thank you. opens the Temple of Gaia, and now we're going to get the next emerald. There we go, we got another emerald, so you know what that is. Let's go, another piece of the earth has been restored. Let's go. And we got the achievement looking better, so you guys can enjoy this next cutscene that we're about to get. Yeah, just get out of here, Tip. The moment the temple lit up, the beast woke up. It appears he's come back to his senses. I see. I'll bet your job is to, <clears throat> to guard the Chaos Emerald Temple. You must have gone berserk when the emeralds lost their power. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back. Want some chocolate? What a majestic beast. There we go, guys. We did pretty good here. Oh, one more cutscene. Little fat ass. Your dinner, Doctor. Thank you. What's the progress on the Dark Gaia powered Eggman land construction system? Current status is 27% complete. Progress is significantly behind projected timetable. Presumed cause of delay is Dark Gaia dispersion across the globe. Oh, of all the lazy, here I go to the trouble of waking that Dark Gaia thing up. And it causes me nothing but delays. Dark Gaia has yet to reach maturity within the planet's core. Ergo, it was still incomplete at the time of its awakening. Ergo, it was unable to sustain its own weight upon its release. Ergo, it scattered around the world. I don't want to hear about its weight issues. 
So what if I gave it a bit of a sudden awakening? This is unacceptable. Ergo, this is the repercussion of your hasty actions. What was that? I'm having a bad enough day as it is. First that professor runs off with the Gaia manuscripts, and now the planet's coming back together. That, Doctor, is the result of the power of the Chaos Emeralds, which you discarded along with Sonic. Ergo, another repercussion of your hasty actions. Facts! You should've just kept the emeralds, you idiot! What makes you such a great villain? Quiet, you junkie! That was all part of my plan! Part of the big picture! Where's the fun in having my plan succeed without any challenge? What? <laughs> anyway, what's the status of the remaining temples of Gaia? Eggman forces have practically secured all locations. Defensive preparations are nearly complete. That'll take care of Sonic for now. Which leaves the problem of Dark Gaia. It'd be difficult to collect every piece scattered all across the world. Searching conventional wisdom banks for topical advice. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Slow and steady wins the race. Nobody likes a whiner. Hmm. Isn't there a more efficient way? Some way to, well, I don't know, gather them all up at once. Wait, that's it, of course! <laughs> With this, this, all of my plans will be realized! Okay. But, literally, literally, Orba has a point, bro. Literally, the planet would have not went back together if you would have just kept the emeralds with you and Sonic wouldn't be able to basically bring the, the world back together. So, that doesn't really make Eggman such a great villain after all, basically, when you put it that way. But anyways, guys, we did it. We basically beat the uh, the Dark Guy of Phoenix and we completed I didn't want to talk to you, you little... Uh, I don't want to... <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we completed... Tune on at night, and we defeated the Dark Gaia Phoenix. So yeah, basically, the Dark Gaia Phoenix has went berserk. Oh, there's some some metal right here. The the Dark Gaia Phoenix has basically went berserk after the Emeralds has lost their power because basically the dragon's job is to protect the Gaia Temple and the power of the Emeralds. So yeah. So, that's basically it. That's where we're going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And tell me down in the comment section below what you guys think of today's episode. In my opinion, I think this was really cool. Should have gotten an S rank, though. But I did get two A ranks in a row, so... That's a win-win situation for me, you know. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm going to end this video off here. So yeah, guys, uh, remember, guys, don't be a pro. Be a Sonic pro. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.